Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday. I am here with a uh, haul. It is my monthly bargain bead box subscription. And here's my little teal bag that it comes in every month. So I'm excited. I did cut it open, but I haven't even taken the paper out. So let us get right into it. And this is already deducted out of my budget, as I'll show you. And as those of you who have been following me know. Okay, so it says, August theme is Mad for Matte. It's all about the frosted finishes this month with a collection of beautiful beads curated around that rich, understated glow. Premium colors and unusual shapes combined with antique bronze findings, which I love, for a fresh take on vintage style and a feather motif transitions smoothly from late summer into autumn. Um, liking the sound of that. So let us open this up and turn this over. I don't have a haul thing yet to, to display here. So you know what? I'm going to leave this down because maybe you'll be able to see things better. Okay, it's in a yellow bag, which is, I guess, the transition into fall also, which, you know what? It actually feels like fall here today. Um, I think it's supposed to go up to 80 Fahrenheit, but um, it's been it's been cooler, and the air conditioning's not running as much. I don't have the upstairs AC on, which is nice. Okay, let's get to this. Enough chit-chat. All right, so we have two sets toggle class with matching charm, and the asterisk says designates lead-free pewter alloy components with antique bronze finish. So, oh, they're kind of cool, kind of steampunky-ish. I don't know if you can see those. I hope. Or you know what? I put the light up. I was trying a different angle, and it just wasn't working for me, so we're stuck with this one for now. Um... So sorry about that, guys. But that's pretty cool. I like the antique bronze finish. Um, okay, number two. Number two, where are you? Maybe I should get these sort of in order, huh? This is probably it. Nope, 16, 14, 16, five. <laughs> I don't see two, three, four. You're probably like, Deb, it's right in front of you. Deb, what are you doing? 15, 7, 8, uh, 11, 12, 13, 3, 4, 5, up, 2, duh, right in my hand, duh, see, told ya. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, here's a 17, 8, where's 9? 9, 10. Now, see, I don't know which one of those is 9 or 6, but anyway. Okay, 2. 40, oh, these are pretty. I like these. 48 piece, 6 by 5 millimeter, frosted multi iris. Iris is like that purpley, bluey, greeny, changey color kind of thing. How cool are those? Um, six by five millimeters, so they're like a rondelle, yeah, multi iris metallic glass rondelle beads, and they're sort of a matte finish, but they have sparkles in them. Ooh, so pretty! Ah, that's a Deb kind of thing. I just dropped one. Let's see if I can see it before my cat gets it. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> I already had one cup of coffee, but I think it's not enough. Excuse me while I take a sip of coffee. Oh, that hits the spot. Love my morning coffee. I love these. Um, I don't work for this company, but Tervis makes these. I get them at Bed Bath & Beyond, and they're not cheap. But if you find them, I love them for my coffee. They hold about um, 16 ounces. So if you go to like a Wawa or Turkey Hill or somewhere for a refill, 16 ounce is the refill size, not the 20. doesn't hold 20, but that's okay with me. Anyway... Look, it has butterflies. This one has butterflies. My favorite one, though, is um, peacocks. Okay, number three. Twelve pieces of eight millimeter banded. Oh, I see. Oh, they're cool. I never saw them before. 
Banded Chinese Crystal Bicones Golden Shade. Now that's, see that name is similar to a Zorowski, but it has like a matte band around the middle of the bicone and the rest of the bicone is clear and they're more gray than golden. Golden shade and, um, well, I see what they have. They have sort of a gold finish on one side and then a clearish finish on the other and matte in the middle. They're very pretty. Never saw those with the band like that. So they're very pretty. I will definitely use those as well. Number four. Hmm. These are pretty too. Okay. These are 20 piece, 10 millimeter Chinese crystal round beads, magma AB. Now magma in Swarovski is a, is a red. It's a, like a, a red. Now these look like, um, like disco balls in their shape. They have like a, I don't know if you can see it, a lot of facets on it. Um, but they're a matte and they're sort of a pinky orangey yellow. Very pretty. I've never seen those before either. And you get 20 of those. Uh, oh no. All right. That one's all. Oh. Okay. The beads do not like me this morning. One landed on my lap. The other one landed right where the first one went. They're trying to escape. No guys, I'm going to put you to good use. And these are pretty too. I'm not going to take these out because I'm afraid I'll lose them. They're the same concept as these bigger ones, but you get 30 pieces, six by four Chinese crystal rondelle beads, dark magma AB. So they're a little more tannish in color. This light it stinks. That made it worse, didn't it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe down. Uh, anyway, they're basically the same, only much smaller. Number okay, six is, this has to be six. Yep. 15 inch strand, eight millimeter. Did I miss one? No, that's five. Okay. 16 inch strand, a 15 inch strand, eight millimeter dragon veins, agate round beads frosted. So these are a gemstone, agate gemstone. And they're sort of in a reddy orange. They have veining through them, which is the dragon's vein, I guess. Um, love the name, but I do love the color too. It's like, you know, you just saw my IC cards not long ago. Sunrise and sunset. These would be beautiful for a piece depicting a sunrise or a sunset. So can't wait to use them. Seven. 36 piece, seven millimeter scallop bead caps. Again, the asterisk saying designates lead free pewter alloy components with antique bronze finish. I love the size of these. I will definitely use these. Um, they have like a little scroll pattern on them. Hopefully you can see. Um, and you get how many of these? 36, so that's a good amount. That is one thing I do like about this, um, this bead box is that, or bag, is that you get bead caps and things. You don't usually get like head pins and stuff like, and wire, but you do get, um, sometimes chain, bead caps, charms, and metal beads too. Okay, we got three. 56 millimeter feather pennons. I can definitely use those. I may add some color to them with my, um, what do you call it? Gilder's paste. So, yep, definitely loving the feathers. It's funny, Jen Crum just gave me uh, die cut feathers the other day. Okay, so that was eight. Nine is this one. It is 32 piece, eight and a half. I'm sorry, eight, oops, back up there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> eight by five millimeter Chinese crystal rondelles in satin peach. It's that same sort of disco ball effect, um, but they're in a satin peach, it's called. And that's very pretty. It'll look pretty with those or with the agate uh, or with the feathers. Sort of like autumn leaves. They're, they're definitely right. These would make nice uh, autumn pieces. What do you know? It didn't fall to the floor. It tried. 
Okay, number 10, 32 piece again, eight by five millimeter again, Chinese crystal rondel satin thunder. And these are sort of a blue gray. So I understand the thunder designation. I'm not gonna take them all out. They are definitely a gray and they're a matte finish. Nice spacer beads. Um, I don't know that I like them with the bronze. No, I would definitely love them with silver bindings, though. Okay. Eleven is, um, again, 32 piece, eight and a half. Same, except it's satin lemon, eight by five millimeter, satin lemon chiffon. So you get three different colors in the same size. I kind of like that. It's a nice neutral. And that one will go nice with the bronze. Yes, definitely. And also with the peachy colors. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try and get better guys at um, making things, actually, with these boxes instead of just hogging them. Ooh, I like these. Um, this is 30 pieces, six by four millimeter Chinese crystal rondelle, ice blue satin. Those might have to be a reorder for me if they have them. Love the color of those. It's like a, that is like a stormy sky almost. They call it ice blue satin. Love the ice blue. And I have some blue lace agate that those would make beautiful spacers in between that I did not get in the kit. I just had them in my stash. Okay. Oh, these are teeny weeny. Okay. 15 pieces, five by three millimeter. I don't think I'm going to take these out of the bag. Chinese crystal teardrop beads in dark magma. I don't, I hope you can see, I may have to take one out of the bag. Um, these are teeny weeny. Teeny weeny. Look how tiny. Five by three millimeter. The hole goes down the center of the bead which I prefer over um, over going through the top of the bead, like, especially when they're this little, because if you try wire wrapping one of those through the top, it's, it's difficult. I can do it, but it's difficult. So I like those. Those would be nice for dangling off something. Um, 30 piece, six millimeter glass window beads. Slate blue with rainbow iris. Ooh, more iris. Yay. Oh, those are pretty. Now, window beads, these are like a matte, sparkly finish, but then they have little dots on them that are the windows into the center. So they're kind of cool. And the iris is color changing. I'm hoping you guys can see these. I can't tell from my phone when I'm showing these. I'll have to replay it before I upload and see. So anyway, those uh, are trying to escape also. No. No, I tell you, no. <laughs> love those. I love those. Of course, I'm a, you know, I'm a blue person, but I love autumn colors too. So I'm liking this kit. Okay, number 15, 18 piece, 20 millimeter feather charms in that same antique bronze finish. Love. <clears throat> yeah. Love. And I'm getting some ideas here already. I am definitely getting some ideas. I don't know if I'm going to take these out of the bag. 50 pieces of 4 millimeter faceted, faceted oval spacer beads. Well, they don't, they're, if they're oval, they're real little. They're 4 millimeter, so they're tiny. I will take a couple out and see if you can see them. They're a little tiny and they are faceted and they are actually a little oval. Not perfectly round for sure. So um, those would definitely get used. I love little spacer beads. And lastly, one meter or 3.2 feet approximately, five by four millimeter, which is a large link, steel twist chain antique bronze finish. But, so this is, does not have that same designation because it's not lead free pewter alloy, it's steel chain. And the 5.4 designates the link. It's a nice link size for putting uh, hooking charms into. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And you get 
I mean, 3.2 feet you can do a lot with. Way out of frame. Um, you can make a necklace and a bracelet or a necklace and a chunky charm or multiple chunky charms or whatever you want to do. Some dangly earrings, something, anything. So, yep, I will use that for sure. Okay, that is it for this month's um, bargain bead box. And their sister store is um, Bead Box Bargains. And I did get a coupon to use at their store, which is good to September 15th. And this month, and it changes every month, but this month, that particular coupon, when you're a member, is substantial. It's 30% off. So, um, And if I make stuff and get it posted on their Facebook page, www.facebook.com bar slash bargain bead box, um, or on Instagram at the ampersand bargain, not ampersand, the at thing, bargain bead box. Um, and I post the pictures by September 5th. I have a chance at winning $25 gift certificate again to bead box bargain. So I find their prices very reasonable. It is a closeout store. So once things are gone, there's no guarantee they're going to come back. Um, but you know, it's rare to find like a whole pile of these beads for 50 cents, 97 cents for gemstones at $3.99 a strand. You don't usually find that. Now they're, um, they're not always, they don't tell you the grade of the gemstone, but they're probably BC, I'm guessing, um, grade. And most of you, unless you're into jewelry a lot, don't really care about that. <laughs> Just that they're sparkly and pretty and such. So I'm loving these iris and the and the blues um but with the feathers i'm having some other ideas for fall come to my head so um don't know when i'll get to them because i've got to finish up some other challenges first this weekend but i hope you enjoyed uh, i do plan on using these this time along with some other beads mixed in and uh, we'll see what i come up with okay stay tuned thanks for watching have a great weekend hugs and love Hey guys, I'm back real quick. I forgot to show you that my bargain bead box for August was already deducted from my budget. Um, I have been really good so far this month as far as spending. I have a few things in my Amazon basket, but I have not checked out. Um, and I really, really, really want to go to Michael's because today's the last day they have the $5 paper pads and they have a 50% off coupon and I really want another tube of the washi that goes with my planner uh, so you guys are going to have to help me resist today I have filled my day with I have to get a lot of crafting and some housework done so I'm trying really hard not to go to Michael's today really hard really hard guys I really want there's one paper pad I really want I don't need it but I want it <laughs> But I'm over budget and I'm trying hard not to spend any more for August because I'm already over budget from my July spending. So, and I'm, I don't have much left in September. So anyway, I'm tr really trying to be good. That's all. I just wanted to come back with that update. Thanks. Bye.